All right, so we have our tables and fields set up. Now what I want to do is create our relationships from within phpMyAdmin. And there's a really cool uh, option called Designer, which will give us a diagram of our database, which we'll look at after we add the relations. So I briefly explained this in past sections, but let's take the products and product categories tables. Inside of products, in our structure, we have a field called category. And this is going to be a foreign key that's going to be linked and have a relationship with the ID field in the product categories table. Okay, so this category is going to have a relationship with this ID field in the, cat in the product categories table. All right, so in order to do that, we need to go to products and we need to add an index to our foreign key which is going to be category and all we need to do is go over here to the more and click on index <clears throat> and that'll add an index for that field now if we go down and we click on this relation view you can see that um, our ID obviously is a, is a primary key okay and category since we created an index we have this little this drop down you can see the other fields says no index defined all right so the relationship to the category is going to be in the the product categories table and it's going to be the id field all right so we have a few different options here uh, for when we delete or update uh, rows in the in the parent table um, so restrict what that means is that uh, let's say that we delete a, a product category um, it's not gonna let us if any of the the products in the product table have that category alright and we have a few options here cascade basically means if we if we delete um, if we delete a product and the category that it's linked to will also be deleted all right so it'll just it'll basically delete both tables set null that's going to just set the value in the categories table as null and let's see no action obviously it would just just delete the product and that's it it wouldn't wouldn't um, carry over to the the products the category table so I'm gonna set this to I'm just gonna keep it at restrict alright so let's click Save and now we have our foreign key set up for our parent um, I'm sorry our products and our product category table alright and I should mention a, a few things here one is that in order to do this we need to have our storage engine as inodb um, and MySQL obviously requires indexes on foreign keys and basically um, they have to have the same data type so the ID in the categories table and the category in the products table have to both be the same data type alright so they're both integers or else it wouldn't work uh, so let's add the rest of our foreign keys so that's products and categories we have customers and customer addresses as well so if we click on customers uh, actually, we need to click on customer addresses, and the customer field right here is going to have an index, and that's going to be our foreign key. Okay, so if we go down to relation view, customer, whoop, we don't want that. Um, is going to be have a relationship with the customers table ID field and we'll keep that as restrict as well alright so what else do we have reviews reviews is gonna have actually two foreign keys customer and product so we're gonna add indexes to both and then if we go to relation view customer is going to go to the customers table ID field product will go to the products table ID field save that 
and let's see page categories um, actually we need to go to pages pages and then we're going to choose category we're going to add an index okay relation view and we're going to set this to uh, page categories ID and let's see I think that's it products reviews alright so that should be it we've added all our relations and we can use this designer which is I don't know the the last version or the, the first version of PHP my admin that, that has this designer but I know it's not in some of the older versions um, but if we click on it basically get this um, graphical uh, diagram which is basically all our tables let me just try to organize this a little bit I guess that'll do alright so let's take our reviews table for instance so we have our customer ID and our product ID that and they have relationships for instance the customer goes to this the, the customers table and the product field is linked to the products table alright so pages we have the category going to the page categories ID um, same thing with product categories customer addresses is going to the customers table so it just gives us a nice little view uh, of our structure so that's it for this video now that we have our tables fields and relationships set up we can start interacting with the database and we can do different queries uh, we want to definitely insert some data first and I'll show you how to do that through PHP my admin but then we want to start learning SQL we want to know the language how we can select insert update and delete records from this database and we can do it through PHP my admin we can do it through the command line uh, we can do it through MySQL workbench um, so we have a couple uh, a couple different utilities we can use to interact with the database but before we do that I want to show you um, what the restrict and cascade options do um, because I don't think I explained that well enough so let's go to um, we'll insert a product category all right now to insert data in PHP my admin is very easy you just click on insert make sure you're on the table you want click insert and what are we doing? We want to create a, a category. So we'll say uh, test category one. Actually, you know what? Let's put real names. We'll say electronics. This is the electronics category. Image will leave blank. Um, let's create another one here. Let's say, um, I don't know, home and garden. Okay, so down here we'll click go. Alright, so it says two rows inserted. Now if we go to our browse, see we have these two we have electronics and home and garden so now let's go and open up the products table and we want to insert a product now since we have our foreign key restraints set up category here is now a drop down all right and we can choose the ID of the category that we want all right so let's create um, what should I do here let's just say Android phone Android based smartphone price let's say two ninety nine ninety nine and that's gonna be in the electronics which is the, the category with the ID of one image will leave create date 
is going to be the current timestamp. All right. So uh, now let's say hmm, I don't know. Pat, we'll just say patio set. I don't know. <laughs> let's say this is a patio set, and price will say ninety nine ninety nine. And that's going to go in the home and garden category. Let's click go. All right, so now our products, we now have two products. And if you remember, let's go back to products and then click on structure and then relation view. All right, so we have our restrict on delete and update. So what this means is that if we if we have a product that's in a certain category and then we try to delete that category, it's not going to let us. So let's give that a try. If we go to um, paid, I'm sorry, products categories. And remember, we have the Android phone in the electronics category. So let's go ahead and try to delete this. All right, so we get this error saying cannot delete or update a parent row, a foreign key restraints a foreign key restraint fails okay so that's good that's what we want now if we go ahead and go back to our relations view in products and click on structure relation view all right now if we change this let's change it to cascade and click save now if we go back to our categories and I'm sorry I keep going to page categories go to product categories and let's go ahead and delete the uh, home and garden category now remember we have our patio set with this category so if we delete this alright so it does delete and if we go back to our products you can see that the patio set is now gone okay that's not well I guess I mean it depends on how you want your application to run um, but I would suggest keeping it on restrict I'm actually gonna go back and change it but I just wanted to, to show you how that works products structure okay I'm gonna ch and again you can use null so you, would, that would have set the Android phone to null or the patio set to null and we could also use no action which would just keep all the products intact okay so let's save that all right so that's that's it for our creating relationships like I said in the next um, section chapter we'll, we'll get into to writing queries and interacting with our database One thing that we kind of skipped over was many-to-many -many relationships and a junction table. Right now, our database structure, we don't have anything linking our customers to our pro products. All right, We want to know uh, which customers bought which products. And when I say many-to-many -many relationship, that means that um, customers can buy more than one product and products can be bought by more than one customer. Um, another example of a many-to-many -many relationship is our reviews table, uh, which is kind of used as a junction table because uh, we have customers, okay, we can have more than one customer and we can have more than one product. Alright, so customers can review on as many products as they want. All right. Now a one-to-many relationship is what we have for, let's say, products and product categories. All right. So our categories can have more than one product, but our product cannot have more than one category. So that's a one-to-many. All right. Now I want to make a junction table which is going to bring together our products and and customers. All right. So what we're going to do is um, just create a new table. I'm going to call it. Uh, actually, and we'll call it orders. That makes more sense. I was going to say product, product customer, but orders makes a lot more sense. All right, so we just want, we just want three fields here. 
So we'll have an ID. This is good, gonna be our primary key, which is definitely needed. So that'll be auto increment primary. And then we're gonna have customer ID. And we're gonna have product ID. Actually, let's stick with the naming convention and get rid of the IDs. All right, so that's a junction table. It's just, it's, it's there to, to unite two other tables. All right, so what we also want to do is create the relationship from, from within PHP My Admin. Um, so we want to go to orders and we want to add an index to customer as well as um, product. All right, so now we want to click on relation view and we want to link this customer to the customers table ID field. And we'll keep it at restrict product. We're going to link to the products table ID field. All right, so we'll save that. Now we have a relationship. The, the customers and products table now have a relationship with the orders table, and it's, it's a many-to-many -many relationship. So when our application, when a customer logs in and they, they purchase a product, they're going to be put in this table. Okay, So we can actually even insert something here. So let's say that customer one bought product five and customer two bought product six. Um, and we can even enter customer one, which already has bought in a product, can also can buy another one. They'll buy product 12 and we'll say Customer six bought products nine or, or ten. All right, so that's what this table looks like. Um, it's it's not very graphical or informational. Just has the IDs, but our application would know what to do with this. And we'll also come back to this table when we do joins and and and, other, and stuff like that when we get into more complex queries. So just wanted to throw that in. I'm sorry that this was not included in the actual um, section where we created the database, but I figured better late than never. So just add that to your database and you should be good to go.